today we are going to learn about prepositions. Isn't that a fun word to say? Prepositions. Can you say that? Prepositions. Yeah. Wow. What a cool sounding word. What are prepositions? You're about to find out and then you'll just be able to say prepositions and you'll know exactly what you're talking about. It's going to be cool. First, we want to show you this. Okay, and you might be saying, why are you showing us a bridge? Well, there's a good reason for that. It's a very good reason for that. We're going to just keep that a secret for now. But for now, just look at this picture of a bridge. Bridges are so cool, aren't they? They're so cool. They're structures that connect two sides of things, don't they? And you can see the storm clouds are coming. It's probably going to start raining. You know, the photographer probably was running for cover. You know, but this is a nice picture of a bridge. Here's another picture of a bridge. Do you know the name of this bridge? Pretty famous, pretty famous bridge. Okay. Yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, the Golden Gate Bridge. If you didn't know that, you need to check out our video on the Golden Gate Bridge. Some fascinating facts there. You're going to love it. You're going to love sharing those with your friends and your family. And everyone's going to be like, what? Let's look at the Golden Gate Bridge again. It's an amazing bridge. And a bridge connects two sides. A bridge. You might be wondering, what does this have to do with prepositions? I thought we are talking about prepositions, not bridges. What is going on here? Well, <laughs> that is what a preposition is. Okay? A bridge. A preposition is a bridge. Okay? In the world of words and grammar, it's not really a bridge. You can't drive a car on a preposition. Okay? That would be a little bit difficult. <laughs> And you wouldn't be able to do it. But a preposition works just like a bridge in the world of words. A preposition is a bridge that comes before a noun or pronoun and connects it to the rest of the sentence. And this is how it works. For example, let's say we've got a noun at the end here, and then we've got the rest of the sentence. Now, we've got a problem. There's a big gap. Something's got to go in between. Now, let's say the part with the noun is my backpack, and the rest of the sentence is, I put my book. I put my book, my backpack. <laughs> There's a cat. I mean, it's a lonely backpack. We need a connecting word. We need a bridge. So we put in a preposition. Yeah, a preposition, a bridge word, a connecting word that will connect the noun at the end to the rest of the sentence. So we're going to use the preposition in. So it would read like this. I put my book in in my backpack. Now the noun backpack is connected to the rest of the sentence. Yay! <laughs> Yay bridge! Yay prepositions! Let's look at this example. Charles loves to rest the floor. Uh oh, there's a gap. <laughs> We're gonna need a bridge. We're going to need a preposition to connect floor to the rest of the sentence, aren't we? Let's try the preposition on. Charles loves to rest on the floor. Oh, it's perfect. On is connecting floor to the rest of the sentence. Charles loves to rest on the floor. Wow, that's perfect. That's perfect. I love prepositions. Prepositions can talk about place, time, or movement. Here's some examples of prepositions that talk about place. On, over, at, in, around, under, below, above, behind. These are all prepositions that talk about place or placement. Isn't that interesting? Let's look at this example. Beth enjoys skating the lake. 
Uh-oh, there's a gap. We need a preposition. We're going to need a preposition that talks about place. Let's try around. Beth enjoys skating around the lake. Oh, that's the perfect preposition for that. It connects lake to the rest of the sentence. Beth enjoys skating around the lake. Prepositions. <laughs> we said this already. It's, they're pretty cool. They're pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty amazing. All right. You got to connect. We need the connecting words. We need the bridges. We need prepositions. Now, prepositions can talk about time as well. Look at these prepositions. Before, during, after. These are prepositions. These are bridge words, connecting words. They're prepositions that talk about time. Look at this example. It snowed four inches the day. Oh, we're definitely going to need a preposition there, aren't we? Oh, my goodness. What's a preposition we could use for this sentence? Let's try the preposition during. During. So our sentence would read, it snowed four inches during the day. Wow, that's perfect. That's the perfect bridge word, the perfect connecting word, the perfect preposition. Now, prepositions can also express movement. Whoa. Like these prepositions, through, towards, to, into, across, along. These are prepositions, bridge words, connecting words that express movement. Let's try this one. We were glad we went the game. Uh-oh, we're definitely going to need a preposition. We have to connect game to the rest of the sentence. Let's try to. We were glad we went to the game. To is one of the prepositions that express movement. We were glad we went to the game. And now the word game is connected to the rest of the sentence. Prepositions can also just seem random. Like about, of, and from. You could just memorize these words as prepositions because they do kind of seem random. About, of, and from are all prepositions too. Here's our next sentence. We enjoy taking care the birds. Uh-oh, there's a gap. We're going to need to fill that with a bridge word, a preposition, aren't we? What is a preposition that you think would go well there? Which one do you think fits in that like a puzzle? We enjoy taking care the birds. Yeah, of, of. We enjoy taking care of the birds, of is a preposition. It's a bridge word connecting birds with the rest of the sentence. Now here's something that can be tricky. Prepositions can also appear at the beginning of a sentence. The preposition still has a noun coming after it and then there's the rest of the sentence. But the preposition is still connecting the noun to the rest of the sentence. Let's show you with an example. All right, here we go. After dinner, ooh, after is the preposition. After dinner, I enjoy reading a book. Wow. Now notice it's still a bridge word and it's still connecting dinner, that's the noun, to the rest of the sentence, even though it appears at the beginning. It's still a bridge word, still a connecting word. So if you see a preposition at the beginning of a sentence, don't freak out, it's okay. Sometimes they go there. Prepositions are connecting words. And wow, just like bridges, they're a great time, they're awesome, and they just, they're just cool. They're just cool. Who else is a fan of prepositions? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> no one? Uh, you like prepositions now, right? You love them, right? <laughs> you love prepositions. They're connecting words. They're bridge words. 
Thanks for watching this video on prepositions. We hope you had an amazing time, and we hope you'll join us again soon.